A warm spring morning, our production manager, Mr. Lopez, arrives at his office. His bicycle manufacturing company has received a request for a new bicycle model designed for the upcoming Olympic Games. The first thing he has to do is to design and define the specification of this new model, so he enters his R&D department. Mr. Lopez instructs his engineers to draft a blueprint of the bicycle, providing also the initial technical specifications regarding the product's aerodynamics and weight. As a next step, he contacts directly his external associates, providing them with the required information and asks them to send back detailed designs and specifications for each bicycle component. Once ready, the detailed blueprints are delivered to Mr. Lopez for approval. Trying to put all the pieces together, Mr. Lopez detects a number of flaws that inevitably call for modifications in some components. Therefore, he sends the initial blueprints back, asking for modified versions. Finally, after a number of iterations, Mr. Lopez receives optimized versions of those blueprints. And eventually, he is able to send the final designs and specifications to his production department. Then, Mr. Lopez has to choose the right supplies for each part and plan the production of the bicycle. He picks up his phone and starts contacting suppliers for the different parts of the bicycle. A specific offer sheet is sent to every first-tier supplier to fill in. And in order to respond, each first-tier supplier needs also to contact his own suppliers. Having completed all communications, Mr. Lopez is waiting to receive the offers for every single component as precious time goes by. Once all offers are received, he has to evaluate them one after another and decide on the best option for each part. As a next step, Mr. Lopez assigns production orders to the chosen suppliers. Having all production orders sent, Mr. Lopez waits patiently for the parts to arrive. Meanwhile, the production line of one supplier experiences a problem and eventually stops operating. Unable to resolve the problem, the supplier calls Mr. Lopez and informs him about the unexpected event which will delay the shipment. Mr. Lopez gets very disappointed hearing the news, but since it is too difficult to find a new supplier at this stage, he has no other option than to wait, watching the deadline passing by. Eventually the shipment arrives, but the delay has already cost a lot to both Mr. Lopez and his supplier. Mr. Goodworth, who works in another bicycle manufacturing company, receives the same order. The huge difference as compared to Mr. Lopez is that he and his suppliers have formed a dynamic manufacturing network utilizing the imagined DMN methodology and its supportive platform. With the draft specifications of the new bicycle as provided by his company's engineers, he asks his external associates to provide detailed blueprints for each specific component. Thanks to the Imagine platform, all parties have instant access to the initial specifications and are able to collaborate on the development of the end product. Following the Imagine methodology, synchronous, collaborative and distributed development of all necessary components takes place, minimizing not only the time needed for the evolution of the final model, but also the occurrence of design flaws, leading to quality improvement and cost reduction. At the end, all collaborating partners are happy with the outcome as their work has been more productive and less stressful. And the final design fully meets all the requirements initially set. Mr. Goodworth can then proceed with the selection of the suppliers for each individual component. Therefore, he logs into the Imagine platform which holds all profiles and associated information regarding the members of the dynamic manufacturing network. After uploading his manufacturing requirements, Imagine indicates the ability and the capacity of every DMN member concerning the production of each individual component. Mr. Goodworth needs only to review the alternatives proposed by the Imagine platform and select the most appropriate ones. 
The platform sends out the manufacturing orders to the selected suppliers who confirm delivery dates and initiate the production. Overwhelmed by the time saved thanks to Imagine, Mr. Goodworth is glad that the manufacturing process has started so soon. A few days later, Mr. Goodworth receives an alert concerning the production. He enters the Imagine platform, navigating to the network production monitoring screen, displaying the progress indicators of the manufacturing process. The Imagine platform shows a warning indicator next to a supplier whose production is behind schedule. Switching back to the supplier selection configurator, he finds another supplier capable of carrying out the remaining order. Afterwards, Imagine sends the new manufacturing orders to the new supplier notifying the old one to terminate his process. At the end of the day, the manufacturing process that was behind schedule catches up with the initial time plan. The smooth operation of the Imagine Dynamic Manufacturing Network allowed Mr. Goodworth to deliver the bicycle's order in a timely and cost-effective manner keeping up with all quality expectations. A few weeks later, in an industrial summit, Mr. Goodworth presents the benefits of Imagine to a group of other production managers. Imagine offers an effective way for managing complex dynamic manufacturing networks. Adopting this solution results in rapid and trustworthy network setup, alignment of manufacturing processes, collaborative product development, effective network monitoring and agile reconfiguration of manufacturing networks, and improved resource utilization, quality assurance and reduction of production costs.